These business story videos get hundreds of thousands of views and under creators thousands of dollars a month. And in this video, I'll show you how you can get started making these high quality videos for channels like these without having any advanced video editing skills using AI tools and a super easy to use platform like Canva. So the first thing you want to do is get video ideas for your channel. In order to do this, you can think of ideas on your own, but if you can't come up with any ideas, then what you'd want to do is come on over to ChatGPT and then once on ChatGPT, you want to go ahead to ask it for a prompt like this. Give me 10 YouTube video ideas for a business stories YouTube channel about successful companies or businesses or business people and be specific. And now as you can see, it has gone ahead to give me 10 different ideas I could use for my channel. For example, something like this, Netflix revolutionizing entertainment with Reed Hastings, or even something like this, the Apple revolution, Steve Jobs journey to creating a tech empire. Go through the different options it gave you and find one that you like. If you don't like any of these, you can always ask it to give you more and then it will go ahead to give you even more business story ideas you could choose to decide to create your video about. And now once you have your video idea, the next thing you need to do is generate the script for your video. You can go ahead to do this yourself, but if you want, you could also utilize AI like ChatGPT to generate the script for you. Now, before I ask ChatGPT to generate my scripts, what I like to do is to utilize another AI tool, which will help me get information to make my idea even better. Let me show you exactly what I mean. What you would want to do is come on over to vidIQ. You could find the link for it in the description below. Once on vidIQ, you want to come on over to the section that says generate and then it's going to say generate video ideas. In this section, you now want to input the topic of the video idea that you wanted to create. So in my case, I want to create a video called the truth about Coca-Cola and then simply hit generate. And then once you've done this, as you can see, vidIQ has gone ahead to give me a lot of valuable information that will come in handy later on in this process, like the title, the description tags. But what I like to take a look at is the hook and the video script. This is what I'll be using to help ChatGPT generate a better script for me and to have a better understanding of what type of script that I am going to be creating. And remember, vidIQ is made specifically for YouTube. So rather than just asking ChatGPT, getting the information from vidIQ first can help you create a better video. Because keep in mind, it doesn't matter what type of video you're creating. What really makes a great video, which gets you lots of views, is the angle you take on that video. And this over here, the hook and the script here, helps me get a good angle to make my video about. And in this section where it says hook, what I like is that you could click over here where you see it says format and then you could click the different types of hooks that you'd want to take. So now that I have this viable information, I can now go ahead to generate my script for the video. So in order to do this, you want to come on back over to ChatGPT and then you want to ask it a prompt like this. Write a length minute script for a YouTube video about and over here you want to insert the length of the script. When you're making videos like this, you want it to be anywhere from 10, 15 to even 20 to 30 minutes long. And then it says about title. And then over here, you want to insert the title of the video. So you're going to come on back over to vidIQ and then you're simply going to copy the title that it gave us, come back over to ChatGPT and paste it in. Then it says using this hook. And then in this section here, you want to insert the hook. So you'll come on back over to vidIQ. You'll copy the hook that you want, come back to ChatGPT and paste it in. It continues to say based on this short script idea. And then in this section, you want to insert the, the script from vidIQ. So you'll come back to vidIQ, copy the script, come back to ChatGPT and paste it in. And once you've done this, all you need to do is click enter. And now as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead to generate us a five minute script for our video based upon the information we've given it. So from here, what you want to do is go ahead to copy this entire script, come on over to our Google Doc and paste it in. And now once it's pasted in, what you'd first want to do is read through this script and then go back and forth on Google, verifying the information that the script has written in just to ensure that it is accurate information. And then from there, you can also go ahead to edit the different text of the script. If you want it to be said differently, you can go ahead to do so. But if you're satisfied with exactly how the script is written, then you don't need to edit it whatsoever. You could keep it just as it is. So now that you have the script done, the next thing you need to do is generate the voiceover for the script. Now you can go ahead to do this in two different ways. The first way you can go ahead to do this is by coming on over to 11 Labs. You could find a link for it in the description below. But once on 11 Labs, you want to ensure that you're in where it says speech synthesis. And then once you're in where it says text to speech, you want to come on back over to your Google Doc where you have the script written out, you're going to copy it, come on back over to 11 labs and paste it in. Now keep in mind in these brackets, there are the explanation of what images are happening in the script as well as the narrator text and the quotation marks. So you want to go through the script and delete everything that's not the actual wording for the script. Now, once you've gone ahead to remove all the excess information, what you now need to do is select the voice you want to use. In order to do this, you're going to click on this little setting at the bottom here, and then you're going to scroll through all the available voices, listen to them and choose the one that you would like to use in your video. Once you've 
you've selected a voice that you'd like to use, you can further edit the voice by clicking where it says voice settings. And then you could edit more aspects of the voice, whether it be the stability, similarity, or even the style exaggeration. Now you don't have to edit this section if you don't want to. But once you've done this, all you need to do now is click where it says generate speech and then your voiceover will be generated for you. Now the second way you can go about generating the voiceover is by simply recording your own voice saying the script to be used in your video. The choice is completely up to you. Once the voiceover is done generating, I recommend giving it a bit of a listen to see what it sounds like. You might want to think twice before taking another sip of that refreshing Coca-Cola because what you don't know about it could be seriously eye-opening. I love this voice I selected because it sounds very variable and it sounds 100% human. I don't think anybody would be able to really tell that it is an AI. So once you're satisfied with your voice, you need to download it. So in order to download it, you want to click here where it says download and then it's that simple. You now have your voiceover fully generated for you. And I know it says one minute for the sake of the video, I'm generating a very short video so that you could see this process properly from start to finish. Now that you have the voiceover ready, it's time for you to begin generating the actual video. So in order to do this, you want to come on over to canva.com. You could find the link for Canva in the description below. Now once on Canva, do a simple search for YouTube video, and then you can go ahead to select this option, which says YouTube video chapter. And then you want to click create a blank YouTube video chapter. And then as you can see, it's going to take you to this page where you can begin creating your video. So the first thing you'd want to do is come on over to the upload section. And in this section, you want to click where it says upload files and upload the voiceover that you just downloaded from 11 labs. Now, once this file has been downloaded, what you'd want to do is simply click onto it so it can now be added into your timeline. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty short, but don't worry about that because once you begin adding more scenes, like for example, if I extend this first scene, as you can see, the voiceover also extends with it as well. So now from here, you want to begin adding the scenes and creating the visuals for the video. Now, in order to do this, one major benefit that I liked about the prompt I used in ChatGPT, if we come on over to our document file where we did paste in the script, as you can see in the brackets here, it actually gave us some ideas for what we could use as scenes for our video. So in order to find the scenes to add into your video, what you want to do is come on over to where it says elements. And then here where you see it says search elements, this is where you want to search for the type of elements you'd want to use. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead to do a search for Coca-Cola and then I'm going to click onto where it says videos. And now as you can see, there are many, many different videos I could utilize in my own video. So when you find a clip that you want to use, in order to add it into your video, it's very simple. All you want to do is simply click onto it. It's going to be added into your timeline. From there, you can adjust the sizing of it to ensure that it's covering the full screen. And then in this bottom section here, you're able to see the entire length of the video. So what you can do is go ahead and press play and then listen to the audio and then see where you want the video to end. So for example, I want mine to end here. So I need to cut this clip. So what I'm going to do is simply right click on where the playhead is. I'm going to click split page and then I'm going to delete the other aspect. And just like that, I have my first scene ready. And then in order to add in your second scene, it's the same process. You search for what you want and then you see where it says add a page. You're going to click onto this and after that, ensuring that you have this blank page selected, you're going to click onto the new scene you want to add, adjust it to fit the screen. You then you do the same exact process. You listen to the audio and then you split it and continuously do that for entire video, adding in the different videos and images that you want to use in your video. Now, as you can see, I've added in a bunch of different footage for my video. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is edit the general outlook of the video. The way it is isn't bad, but you can go an extra step further to ensure that your videos look really intriguing. So what I would recommend you do is add a camera overlay to your video. In order to do this, you'd come back on over to the elements section and then you'd go ahead to do a search for camera overlay and then click onto where it says videos. And then you could scroll through the different overlays that it gave you and choose the one that you prefer. So in my case, I'd want to use this one. And then what you want to do is increase the sizing so it fully covers your video. And then from here, what you want to do is click where it says transparency and then you want to reduce the transparency to a point where you cannot really see it that much but you could see just enough so you want to be sure to go ahead to do the same thing to your other videos adding in the same overlay to all of them so that they'll continuously have the same vibe now that i've done that as you can see all my videos should have the same overlay over all of them now from here the next thing you want to do is add in transitions between the scenes of your video so then rather than having such an aggressive cut like this you can now add in something smoother. So in order to add in the transition, what you want to do, put your mouse between the two medias and then you'll see this option popped in between called add transition. You want to click onto it and then you can go through all the different transitions and add the one you prefer. I recommend you use a dissolve transition. And then at the bottom here, you simply want to click where it says apply between all pages so that they all have the transition with them. So now let's take a little look. Might want to think twice before 
Okay, that's enough. As you can see, our actual video is coming along pretty great. From here, you want to go ahead to edit your video even further by adding in any other overlays or colors or transitions that you may prefer till you have the actual visual aspects of your video 100% to your liking. Once you've gone ahead to edit set your video more to your liking, it's time for the next editing section, which really makes your plain video look like something that's extremely high quality. And that is the sound design. So in order to add sounds to their video, the first thing you'd want to do is add some background music music so in order to get background music you want to come on over to where it says elements and in this section you want to search for the type of music you want so in my case i want something that's like documentary style so i'm going to have to do a search for documentary and then in the top search bar here what i'm going to do is scroll to the side until i see audio and then i'm going to click onto it and then from here i can go ahead to play the different audio see what they sound like and see which one is closest to what i'm looking for that would look good for my type of video and then when you find the audio that you want to use ensuring that your playhead is at the beginning of your video all you want to do is simply click onto it and then it's going to be added into your scene now once it's added in the first thing you need to do is adjust the volume level because it will be way too loud and overpowering to the voiceover so in order to do this you'd want to click onto the background music and then you're going to click onto this volume button and then you're going to reduce this one to about 25 and then after you adjusted the volume of it what you want to do is click where it says audio effects and then you want to give it a little bit of a fade in maybe about five seconds and a little bit of a fade out as well and now the video should start coming together a little bit more. Let's take a little peek a couple seconds. You might want to think twice before taking another sip. That's all you get to see. So as you can see, the music has now given our video a different vibe. It's now made it seem a little bit better compared to the first version of our video that we were working with. But that's not all. You need to edit this even further by adding sound effects. This is what truly makes these videos next level. So in order to do this, you want to think about what sound effects that you can add. Things like swishes, dramatic sounds, other the best type of sounds you want to utilize but just see what sounds could be helpful for the type of video you're creating as you could see here it's a coca-cola bottle being opened so i'm going to see if i could find a sound of a bottle opening so in order to do this i'm simply going to remove the search for documentary and then insert a search for soda bottle open and hit enter and as you could see there's a bunch of different soda bottles opening that i could choose from so you're going to listen to what they sound like find the one that sounds like it will be good for your video and then add it into your video so when you find the one that you want what you'd want to do is put the play Head where you want the sound to begin and click onto the sound effect so that it can be added in and then you can go ahead to drag it to edit it to make it longer or shorter based upon how long you want it to last in your video and then once you have the first sound added in you want to go ahead and go through your entire video search for different sounds and then add them into your video to make it seem even more engaging and then from here once you've got your sound design done and you've added all the audio into your video and remember based upon the type of aesthetic and vibe you're going for your overall video would be the type of audios you'd want to use so if you're making a more dramatic video you'd want a more dramatic audio if you're making a more calm video then you'd want to utilize more calm audio but once you have your video completed i'm sure you're wondering what this looks like and i'll show you in one second because before you could even see what it looks like you need to download your video so in order to download it you want to click onto where it says share and then you're going to click download and then ensuring that you have mp4 selected and then at the bottom here 1080p selected what you're going to do is click download and then your video will be downloaded to your laptop now for those of you who've been wondering what does this video look like Let's take a look. You might want to think twice before taking another sip of that refreshing Coca-Cola, because what you don't know about it could be seriously eye-opening. Did you? So what I will say is as a video, this is highly engaging, high quality. It really didn't take me having any skills to do this. Just a little bit of sound design, adding clips together and adding in an overlay and this is what you want to do for your videos to make them very engaging and viral quality and the last thing you need to keep in mind is when it's time for you to actually upload this video to youtube what you want to do is come on back over to vidIQ where we originally generated the video and from here you'll have access to the title you're going to use for your video a nice short description you can use for your video and a bunch of tags that you can actually utilize in your video to help your video rank better and faster on youtube and when it comes to creating in the thumbnail you can create the thumbnail on canva itself and if you're a beginner who's not really sure how to create thumbnails as you can see canva has over 22,000 thumbnail templates you can go ahead to utilize in order to help you create a really good thumbnail for your video and that's just a quick little example of how you could utilize a free tool like canva to get started with creating business story videos for your youtube channel be sure to be very creative with your videos when you do start a channel like this be even 10 times as creative as i was because the more creative you can be the more unique you can make your videos the more views you will get and the more money you will earn
So if this is the channel you wanted to start, then now you know a way you can get started with this. But hold on now, don't click off this video yet, because if you want to learn more from me, which you probably should, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.